Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device, also known as the FRP Lock. It's something that Google initiated back in Android 5 to where when the device is factory reset without first removing the Google account that's on it, it's then going to ask you to log into that same account again as a security measure after the reset is performed. Now here with us today we happen to have a Samsung Galaxy Tab E that is originally from Verizon here in the US and this is a device that does have the lock enabled as we can see here as we're going through the setup process we get to this screen that tells us that the device was reset and to continue we have to sign in with the previous Google account that was on it and that is the only one that will actually let us through and in to be able to use the device. We've been contacted by tons of customers over the years asking us for assistance with this specific issue on this specific device, either usually because they themselves got locked out accidentally and couldn't recover their login information, or because they were sold the device by a dishonest seller who didn't tell them that the lock was enabled, and obviously they didn't have the login information to be able to get through. We're making this video to let all of our customers know that we do offer a service to be able to get the lock removed from this specific model device, and that's actually exactly what we're going to do right here right now with our computer program. While this is running, I should mention that this is something that we can do for just about anyone anywhere in the world, so you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection, and we can directly connect to you through the internet and perform the exact same procedure that we just did right here. Now we had already done 99% of the work ahead of time to keep the video nice and short. We're just making the video as vi actual visual proof that we can indeed remove the lock from this specific model. The work should all be done. As you see here, we all we did was restart the device once and we should now be able to see that we can indeed get all the way through the setup process without seeing that Google lock screen. So we're going to go and hit next and we don't need to activate it so we can just skip that. We don't need Wi-Fi, so we can go ahead and skip that. Let's see. There we go. Next. And now it's going to take us to the next step in the setup wizard, which looks like email setup, and we don't need that. It's going to check our Wi-Fi connection here for a couple things. And now here is where the Google Lock would have normally shown up before, but now after it finishes checking info, where you're going to see that it asks you to sign in with any Google account. If you notice, the screen is a little bit different and it's not requesting the, the account that was previously on the device. We're just going to skip that for now since we don't need one and continue through the rest of the setup process just to make sure that we can actually get to the home screen. Agree to Google services and then done there. We don't need a Samsung account. We can skip that. And I think that should be it. Yep, there we go. So we are now at the home screen. We have full access to all of the apps and settings and features. And it's just like a brand new device that never had the lock on there. I'm going to go ahead and jump into the settings here real quick just to show you exactly what we're working with. So under about device, we can see that we do indeed here have the model number of the T567V. So this is a Galaxy Tab E that's originally from Verizon, and this is one that has a 9.6 inch screen. I think Verizon probably sells three or four different models of the Galaxy Tab E. Um, a couple of other videos which I'm sure can be found here on our channel because we, I think we offer the service for those devices as well. But that's the specific model that we are working with and demonstrating here today. So if you have one of these that has the Google account lock enabled and need help removing it, we would love to help you out with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description and I'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has all of the details there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have on our channel as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. If you hit that subscribe button while you're there, you'll also be notified of all the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching everyone and have a great day.